stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not beep beep beep. Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. Let me see. Uh, yeah, we can make do with this part. Beep beep beep. What's that? Is that a hint of respect for Findy? How convenient. Beep beep. Well, it was a good idea. Let's look for the next part. Beep, beep, beep! Initiating search for lost item. Minecart wheel set. Beep, beep, beep! Beep, beep, beep! As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in- Beep! Beep, beep. Inter-astral peace appliances. Your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend the humanoid tactical microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call beep, beep, beep. Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. That's everything. You were a big help, Findy. Beep, 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 beep. beep. We're pr well. No, but are you gonna do it yourself? Why wouldn't I? You gotta be self-reliant down here. Watch. You might learn something. You know, I didn't think you guys had worked a day in your lives, but you know how to get your hands dirty. The cart is about to depart! The robots will have seized the road ahead by- Whoa! Stop! Uh, stop! 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 There's a big evil hunk of metal right there! That model... It's one of Svarog's lapdogs, all right. Don't be afraid. I've dealt with those robots before. <laughs> to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! We're in trouble now! <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up! <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! Keep up! Tough luck running into me! <laughs> Here! Let's go! Gotta try hard sometime! Watch this awesome move! You couldn't have done it without me. Fight. 
welcome, customers. Yeah! Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! My turn! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! Let's be friends! Yeah! Reach the end of the story in your own way. Seeing it up close, this veins even more. Welcome, customers! <laughs> Told you I could fight. Let's make it quick. Yeah. A thousand wonders to raise your spirits. <laughs> fight is one. Rules are made to be broken. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Friends. Yeah! Keep up! everyone is fighting over. Mr. Sparog, it's such a massive vein. I've... Calculating. Based on the average rate of excavation, this vein is enough to supply Bellabog with 231 days of energy. With them, I sense that your reason for summoning me is not the or in question. State your truth. Right. I wanted Mr. Sparag to see that many miners and vagrants have gotten hurt because of the vein. Can you help them? I have already prevented the dispute. I know why you did it, Mr. Sparag. The mining team in Wildfire. They don't understand your actions. My mission is the protection of the underworld. The trust human behavior. As evidenced by their presence here. We haven't settled our final score. Sila, subordinate to Wildfire. Your resistance is futile. The result of my calculation is unequivocal. Remaining in the underworld is the optimal strategy for survival. This again. Calculation results, survival strategies. I haven't got time for your thesis. Observe, Clara. Even under abject conditions, human... But Mr. Svar... Human failure to accept the calculation result is a significant threat to the survival strategy of the underworld. Calculation complete. Result unequivocal. Armed suppression of wildfire and their allies is the optimal course of action. And more fashionably dressed, too. Uh, hey, is he about to leave? What about the girl in red? We must leave, Clara. External variables have triggered a calculation reset. The furnace core hub requires protection. Please, Mills. Don't hit them too hard. <sighs> I was getting bored of those minions. Time for a real fight. Come at me! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! We're in trouble now! Yeah! Let's rock! Welcome, customers! <laughs> <laughs> Ready? 
pretty good crowd today. Keep up! Told you I could fight. <laughs> Phew! Let's make it quick. A thousand wonders to raise your finest god! Friends. Turn it up. My turn. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. Rules are made to be broken. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. This is our chance. Phew. Not bad. How many of these- A lot. Which is why Wildfire has never been able to take him down. Svarog's forces are too strong. We don't have enough firepower. Clara? Don't worry about her. That girl is best pals with Svarog. She's always following behind him. He wouldn't harm her. I guess I'm just used to seeing them together now, even if I don't understand it. Let's look for the chief. No need to look far. Nice work, Zila. We were attacked on both sides by robots. Who knows where they came from? We thought we were in it for the long haul. <laughs> oh, chief! Is everyone okay? Is anyone injured? We're fine. We're used to it at this point. We sent those pesky robots and ragtag troops packing. The mines should be quiet for a while. And, uh, who are your friends here? Ah, them. They're outsiders that Sample brought down from who knows where. They need a favor from Wildfire, so I brought them with me. It'll be faster if they explain. <laughs> That's quite the tone to take on our first meeting. I won't forget you in a hurry. So, you went to all this trouble to find wildfire. What help? I didn't know you'd put on. <laughs> well, this is new. This Stellaron you speak of. Never heard of it. But if it's a secret that even we locals don't know about, then one name does come to mind. Really, Sampo? You might as well try the Supreme Guardian. The current Supreme Guardian is a liar who uses sweet words to deceive the underworld. She's never cared about our survival. Stop right there. I won't allow you to insult the Madam Guardian. Miss Overworld, my words may be painful to you, but every one of them is true. Go out into the towns and hear for yourself. See how the people here suffer. <sighs> I haven't gotten close to voicing the extent of the Underworld's grievances, young lady. But I will respect your request. I will leave it at that for now. Let's get back to the main topic. The name that came to my mind. Huh? Isn't Sparog Wildfire's sworn enemy? Why would a mere robot in the Underworld have knowledge of important secrets? Sworn enemy. <laughs> Not how I see it. The young master here is closer. Svarog is a cold and unfeeling machine. He recognizes only the dead reasoning of his calculations. Svarog is not against wildfire. Or perhaps I should say, wildfire isn't even of concern to him. That ancient robot witnessed the war. If you're looking to pick up a thread, he may well be your best source. Hmm. 
Don't judge a book by its cover. I myself have put a few centuries behind me. Would you be able to tell? I'm familiar with over 20 long life species. None of them look like you. Uh, hey, would it kill you to play along? Robots don't forget. If Sparog hasn't heard of your Stellaron, then I'm afraid perhaps no one has. In which case, we need to think of a way to convince Svarok to communicate with us. Or get him to hand over his memory bank. We could go through it ourselves. Uh, what should we do? We've tried repeatedly to negotiate with Svarog, but he rejects every effort. He believes that wildfire is a threat. Still, if it were you guys... Hmm. It's difficult to say. We have time. Let's get into the details of- Again? I'm starting to get nervous of arranged rest on this planet. As for our Silvermane girl here, do you have time? I'd like to talk with you in private. To now. Oh, you must be Oleg's guest. Yep, you've probably. Uh, not the. That's the above ground branch of the Grand Hotel. A few hundred years ago, one ancestor of the Goethe family was ambitious and sought to build something big from nothing. He eventually realized his dream and opened a hotel branch in the most expensive area on the surface. Oh, people with big dreams have big determination. Oleg wants me to take good care of y'all. Here's the key. You'll be staying in our most spacious guest room. What do you think? Should we go ahead and call it a day? Or walk around a bit more first? <sighs> time to rest again. I hope there aren't any surprises this time. That Oleg... He seems sincere. What do you guys think? Um. <sighs> don't you have something cool to say? Like, appearances can be deceiving? I don't try to disagree. But if you ask for my opinion, it's better to be- Ah, <sighs> fine. We'll keep our guards up. Our last hotel experience was eventful, to say the least. One of us should keep watch tonight. Uh, keep watch? Are we space cowboys now? I guess this is the cosmic wild west. <laughs> uh, anyone else sleepy? Uh, no, I don't. nighter before. Do you know how bad it is for your skin? I'll keep watch. Branya, did you finish talking to Oleg? Hope he didn't make things difficult for you. Not really. Though it wasn't the friendliest conversation. We didn't see eye to eye on everything. I've come to know a great deal in a short time. Doubt I'll be able to fall asleep tonight. I doubt I'll be able to sleep either. Not that I don't trust you. It's just, you're a Silvermane guard officer in the underground. 
There might be people looking to harm you. I wouldn't be surprised if there are. The Silvermane guards have a lot to make amends for down here. If someone had made a stand in the outset and explained the consequences to Madame Kokolia... Oh, forget it. It's meaningless to talk about it now. You don't need to worry about me. Oleg guaranteed that I wouldn't be harmed. He seemed like a man of his word. Go and rest. of it all. Voice again. Such a strange dream. May as well go for. Who goes there? Show yourself. Oh, it's you. Don't sneak up behind me next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. <laughs> no sleep for you either, huh? The more that weighs on your mind, the more your fears become dreamscapes. Actually, seeing as there's no one around, it, can I ask you some things? This Stellaron you speak of, if you were to find it... Your confidence actually makes me even more worried. This isn't like helping a child make a snowball. You know... It was difficult for me to believe you. Some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Belabov. As far as I was concerned, Madame Kokolia's order to arrest you sounded reasonable. But why didn't she issue it straight away? She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself. It bothers me. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Ah, still, orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. I don't need you to absolve me. The truth is, I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing. But the sense of duty to carry out an order is bound to prevail with me. In the past, overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves. And yet, the Fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomero remained open. But the passage between the surface and the underground ceased. Huh. I approved of that decision. I never thought that the Underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silverman guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong. But how can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. Help me change the mind of the Madam Guardian? <laughs> Not easy. 
but he knows that better than I do. Uh, the more I think about it, the more disoriented I get, which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog. Maybe you're right. Or not. Right now, I... I just need more time to think. Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while. I can't remember the last time I went for a walk like this. I never thought I'd take one through such a strange place, with someone I'd only just gotten to know. It's so quiet here. I'm not used to it. Ah, uh, quieter things are around you, the louder they- I'm surprised the vagrants in the Great Mine go after the mining teams. They must be desperate. Still? Whatever their situation, a crime is a crime. How is the law supposed to find a balance between justice and compassion in the face of such complexity? How much longer can you last with your current supplies? Is that Zila? Let's go take a look. I know. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. It's too dangerous to go alone. Get Oleg to send someone with you. And the rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Lives are on the line. Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Up to no good, perhaps? We're just having a walk neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. <laughs> walk somewhere else, then. Easy, Zila. Maybe they can help. <laughs> I'm grateful. Here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. We need to acquire more. Somehow. The situation in other towns is even worse than ours. As the Fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around and causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. The town's resources have been swallowed up by the Fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Easy now, Zila. Anger isn't good for one's health. Zila and I actually aren't from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few years ago, the Fragmentum began to seep into the town center. I used to manage an orphanage and clinic there. But after the Fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. After all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. You want to come as well? But you look quite tired. Hold up. I never said you could join us. People's lives are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides, I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. <sighs> well, just don't slow me down. Zila's lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. <laughs> 
With you all accompanying her, my mind will be more at ease. Come, let me give you a list of materials we need. The place you're going to is called Rivet Town. Follow the path through the mountains to the north for a bit. <sighs> let me think. Uh, I'm almost out of metal plates and bandages used for immobilizing broken bones. There's a market in the center of Rivet Town. Residents left behind piles of materials there when they evacuated. Please look for some there. Oh, also rubbing alcohol. I kept a bunch at the orphanage, since the kids often got into tussles. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me when I left. Oh, I hope it's still intact. Lastly, painkillers. There should be a bunch stored in the old lab. Hopefully they haven't been destroyed by monsters. These should be enough to get by for a bit longer. Be careful, don't push yourselves too hard. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, and painkillers. Got it, piece of cake. Let's go, if we leave now, we can still make it back before sundown. When it comes to helping injured people groaning in pain, the sooner the better. If we hadn't happened to be passing by, were you really planning on going in? Thank you. I know it's not her. Well, Zila has, but you can trust. I'm not done yet. I should write this into my next song. Uh, today me is even more awesome than yesterday me.
Keep at it. We're here. This is Rivet Town. Everything looks familiar. Let's go, and watch your step. I haven't been here in a long time. There are... Way over there. See that house on the hill? That's Natasha's old orphanage. After Oleg found me, Natasha said that the house was donated by some rich... Huh. What? No. Weirdo. Look down there. See the mess that remains of those old stalls? That's Rivet Town's market. The supplies Natasha wants are probably there. Let's keep moving. Watch out for monsters. Careful! Enemies ahead. These aren't a uh, restaurant? Peace the moment! <laughs> ha! Pretty good crowd. Let's rock! Reach the end of the story in your own way. Make it quick. Yeah. <laughs> Time for the main of Turn it up. Reach the end of the story in your own way. The facilities here seem to be in pretty good shape. Not like those of a place that has been abandoned for years. Now that you mention it, it does seem a little... There's a bunch of crates piled over there. Maybe we can find what we're looking for. Peace the moment. <laughs> Let's go. Ha! Keep up. My turn. Yeah! Reach the end of the story in your own way. Welcome, customers! <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> Time for the main event. Turn it up! <sighs> Let's be friends! Yeah! Let's make it up! Keep at it. <sighs> Darn. How could they all be empty? Now even the monsters are gathering supplies? The monsters of the Fragmentum don't need any materials we humans use. And if they did take anything, this place would look much messier. You mean that someone else got- It's just a guess, but there are also some footprints on the ground here. 
Hmm. Let's go then. We need to find something, even if we have to search every corner of this market. Trouble now. <laughs> A thousand wonders to raise its finest one. <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Keep up. Fools are made to be broken. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! <laughs> this song's for you? <laughs> Tough luck running into me! Welcome, customers! Broken. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Make it quick. Ha! Rules are made to be broken. My turn. <laughs> Tough luck running into me. <laughs> you. you can't run. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Told you I could fight. <laughs> Here. Try that again. My turn. <laughs> Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move.
customers. <laughs> Time for the mid Time for the main event. Turn it up! My turn! Welcome, customers! <laughs> Songs for you. Keep up. You can't run. Rules are made to be broken. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. A thousand wonders to raise your and fight as one! Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move! <gasps> try that again! My turn! <laughs> yeah! Let's make go! <laughs> Time for the main event. Turn it up. Told you I could fight. <laughs> you. It'll take more than that. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Time for the main event. Let's rock. <laughs> Here. So this is <laughs> this song's for you. <laughs> Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. Keep up. Tough luck running into me. <sighs> Turn it up. The show must go on.
in trouble now. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. This song's for you. Turn it up. Tough luck running into me. yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Let's make it quick. A thousand wonders to raise and fight as one! Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move! Time for the main event. Turn it up! Tough luck running into me! to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! Gotta try hard sometimes! Watch this awesome move! <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Welcome, customers! Let's make it quick. A thousand wonders to raise and fight as one! <laughs> Let's rock! My turn! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it!
Herrick? Hey, Brat! How could you come here by yourself? Oh, don't you know how dangerous this place is? Zila! Uh, you aren't the boss of me. I can go wherever I want. It's none of your beeswax. You took the materials and hid them all here. Not bad, kid. But if we didn't take care of those monsters, what were you planning to do? Just stay here, shaking in your boots? Who asked you to do anything? I was just about to escape. I didn't need your help at all. Still stubborn, huh? Then tell me, how exactly were you gonna get those big metal plates out of here past those monsters? Um... There's always a way. Let him fool you. Everyone in the underworld knows that this brat is a no good thief. If I remember correctly, even the clothes you're wearing came off another kid's back. Uh, about that. Tell us, what do you even want metal plates and gauze bandages for? We need them to save people. 200. What? Uh, 200 shield? Are you kidding me? You want to negotiate? Not much, but I didn't bring my coin purse. You're actually planning to give this little crook money? I I'm telling you, this is his same old trick. No! Not this time. I really need money. My daddy... Pretending to use your dad again as an excuse. If he knew about this, you'd be in big trouble. No! <laughs> Zila, that's enough. It's Eric, right? Here, you can have this. What? What's this? This is a medal given to me by the architects. See that blue stone in the middle? That's a geomero crystal of the highest purity. You need money for your family, right? Take this and show it to a knowledgeable buyer, and they'll instantly know how valuable it is. Thank you. I... But you'll have to promise me one thing. You'll never steal other people's things again. Promise? I... I promise. I'll never... Then it's a deal. If you go back on your promise, I'm going to bring my Silvermane guards with me and catch you myself. Here, take the medal and go back to the town. We already took care of any threat on the way. You'll be safe. Thank you. Whoever you are, you guys can take all of these things. Uh, you, you guys need to be careful, too. There seems to be something real scary in that house up on the hill. Oh, right. Uh, the road across from the market is blocked. If you want to go further... Got it. Thanks. That object was pretty important to you, right? Are you sure you're okay just giving it to Eric like that? If it will make him change his ways, it's more than worth it. <laughs> what if he doesn't? From a young age, my mother taught me to be forgiving and to preserve the goodwill in people's hearts. Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. I must give him a chance, Zila, because other people can't. I don't really get what you just said. Anyway, <clears throat> we should get moving. Eric said that we need to take the shopping street to go any further. I think I still remember where it is. This way. The 
This is the street, all right. The orphanage should be at the end. The entrance to the orphanage is up this way. I wonder what the old place is like now. Maybe some things will still look familiar. These stairs seem to have become more narrow. Almost there. <gasps> Let's be friends. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Yeah. Reach the... have been sitting here for many years, right? Even if they have materials in them, are you sure they are still usable? <laughs> Do you think undergrounders care about expiration dates? <laughs> Even having any supplies is a miracle in itself. No. No. <laughs> empty. How are they all empty? Who could have... Enemy behind you! I've only seen this kind of monster before in the restricted zone. <laughs> I don't care how big you are. You dare. We're in trouble now! <laughs> yeah. Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up! My turn! This song's for you. Keep up. Rules are made to be broken. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. A thousand wonders to fight its life. Watch this awesome move! Welcome, customers! Good crowd today. Let's go. Let's go. Huh. My turn. Rules are made to be broken. <sighs> nah. <sighs> Should be all the kids at the orphanage. I just hope the it wasn't huh. this build. <laughs> yes. Come on. You gave your mother, but didn't someone? Oh, Just as we feared, there's something big over there. And, and there's Clara. We have to save her. Let's go. No need to fear. We have the numerical advantage. Just as 
scratch. Oh, we're in trouble now. Evil must be gone. Take this! Stay right there while I give you a present! are made to be broken. You don't say you're welcome. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! Let's make it quick. Better up! You have the worst luck running into me! <laughs> <laughs> Time for the main event. Turn up the volume! Customers are always welcome! Evo has begun! Let's go. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's rock! Shall we? <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Keep up my tempo. <laughs> you can't. Customers are always welcome. Okay, Clara? Thanks, everyone. You shouldn't be running around by yourself. It's too dangerous. There is a fault with one of the energy supply units at the base. If I don't repair it, I knew there was a workshop in this town, so I wanted to try my luck here. I found all the components I need, but then I ran into a monster. You guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Svarag about it. What do you need to see him for? I can pass him a message. No. This time, we need to set things straight with him face to face. Can you take us to meet him? But... Mr. Sparg doesn't like talking to others. Especially Wildfire. <laughs> Don't I know it. But he's evaded communication with us for too long. This time, we have to see him. Um, I know you're working hard for the people down here, but Mr. Svarg doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results. So, I can't take you to see him. If Mr. Svarg and you had a fight, someone would get hurt for sure. Maybe even bystanders. 
Listen, kid, you... Uh, Clara, you said it yourself before, right? Svarag's duty is to protect the underworld and preserve the civilization here. We have the same wish. Why would he refuse to cooperate with us? I know Mr. Svarag. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. Terrible things are happening on this world. Mr. Svarak thinks that the overworld will end soon. What? According to his calculation results, the strength of the underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. His plan is to keep the underworlders away from the source of the disaster so they can survive for longer. Isn't that just putting us in a cage? It's ridiculous. What difference does it make if our death gets postponed a couple of days? How is that better than putting up a fight? I'm sorry. I really can't help you with this. Um, if you don't mind, I still have important things to do. I'll go back now. Clara! It's no use, Zila. She's made up her mind. I could tell from her expression. I will have to think of another way. That's no ordinary kid. So young and yet so... stubborn? No. Intelligent? She's incisive and determined. Did you really have to add... It looks like we'll have to get past Clara if we want to speak to Svarok. <sighs> then good luck persuading that mass of metal. Clara mentioned Svarok the strength of the underworld. So... No. It's got... Hmm. But how can we... <sighs> She turned that way, quick! Huh? Where'd she go? We just saw her go this way. <sighs> we'll just have to head straight and keep looking. Let's make it quick. Take this! I told you I could fight. Watch this! Turn up the volume! Rules are made to be broken. A thousand wonders to raise your spirits! Good omens! I just won! Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all.
can't figure it out. Oh, it's you. You came with me after all. You keep saying that, but... Are you repairing this installation, Clara? Hit a snack? Huh? How did you know? The dimensions and wear of these two roller components look very different from the rest of the unit. You must have only just replaced them. You replaced the damaged components, but the unit isn't starting up as normal. That's what you're trying to figure out, right? Yeah, I fixed a lot of things before, but I never had to repair one as complicated as this. Why isn't Svarog helping you? I don't want to disturb him. This installation was... accidentally damaged by two of the vagrants. If Mr. Svarog finds out, they'll get in big trouble. You know, Clara, if you're too kind, people can take advantage of you. Ah... I think I found the source of the problem. You replaced the rollers, but the bearing is causing a jam. And there's a misalignment. You two, give me a hand. We should be able to fix it between us. More fixing? I'm getting good at this! Can we really fix this? Relax, we got this. Right, Don Hung? Less asking, more helping. We hardly lifted a finger. So, the settlement's energy supply problem is solved for the time being? Yes. The people on the outskirts don't need to worry about heat or light now. Um... I understand. You helped a lot of injured people in the mine, and you risk going into the town for supplies. You're good people. If there's any other way I can help you, I'll do my best. But this... Uh, how are we gonna convince her? The present situation is... Uh, we're here! This planet isn't doomed after all! Clara, you're observant, right? Take a look at us. Do we look like underworlders? Well... Uh... You do look very different from other people. Right! That's because we're not from here. We've never been a factor in Svarog's calculations. And if those calculations are based solely on the strength of the underworlders, then the results don't apply to the present situation. When did Svarog start doing his calculations, Clara? It was... a long time ago. The same time the Underworld was sealed off, I think. Circumstances have changed since then. There's a Silvermane guard down here now. Is that part of Svarog's calculation? Not to mention we're... There's just no way that Svarog's calculations would have included variables like us, you know? Different planet? Don't treat me like a child. Those are just made-up stories that grown-ups like to tell. I don't... Hey. She and March aren't lying, Clara. I believe them. Branya, 
Do you really? I know how you feel, Clara. You want new hope for the underground, but you don't want anyone to get hurt in the process, right? I also have doubts, but my gut tells me that March, Dan, Hung, and she, they are the new hope this world has been waiting for. Let them meet Svarag, and let's see if his calculation result is any different for you, for him. There's no harm in trying, right? Hmm. I... <sighs> okay, I'll take you to see Mr. Svarog. Really? Awesome! Hmm. I understand now. Trying to change Mr. Svarog's mind on my own would take forever. Even if I kept trying until I was all grown up, I don't think I could do it. And all the while, people would be getting sick, losing their homes, and fighting, just like in the mine. I don't want that to happen. If you guys really believe that you can convince Mr. Svarog, then I need to be brave too. Everyone, follow me. Branya, I didn't know you'd stick up for us like that back there. Well said. It was nothing. I just said what I truly felt. back to me welcome back miss clara timmy open the gate please i want to see mr svarog outsiders detected do you wish to permit access it's okay they're all my guests command received access restriction terminal unlocked welcome back miss clara and guests If you can, please try not to upset Mr. Svarog. It's okay, Clara. We I'll leave negotiations to you. Negotiating with robots. I can't say I've tried it before. Are you ready? I'm 
back, Mr. Sparhawk. I see that the energy supply system is back online. Thank you, Clara. But why have you brought them? Mr. Sparhawk, they want to talk to you about going to the surface. Analyzing. Analysis result. Target does not belong to wildfire. Background unknown. Classification unknown. You have arrived on Clara's recommendation. I will give you an opportunity to speak. Oh, uh, hey, sounds like he's willing to communicate. Quick, time to smooth talk him. An inadequate pretext. You are not from the underground. You have no right to represent underworld humanity. Proceed with your central point. Do not waste this world's valuable time. Uh, he cut you off completely. This guy. Stay focused. Remember, we have to make him see that we're a variable in the calculation. Stellaron. Searching database. Access denied. Discussing Stellaron with unauthorized targets. Prohibited. You are broaching a secret that lies at the heart of this world. A secret that should remain unknown to humanity. Reassessing targets. Threat index raised. Mm, as expected. We've come this far. Out with it already! Just be straight with him. Everything... Historical records stay as instructed by the art. Uh, what should we do? This is going from bad to worse. Target hostility significantly exceeds base index. Calculation result remains unchanged. Peacekeeping protocol temporarily disengaged. Requesting extermination protocol launch. E extermination? In the literal sense? Peace talks are over. March. Prepare for combat. Mr. Sparog, please don't. Leave, Clara. Clara. It's dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. Prototype number three. Annihilation permitted. With me out here, how can we lose? This song's just for you. Keep up my tempo! Let's be friends, shall we? <laughs> yeah! Can we talk? You can't run! Executing operation! <laughs> Try that again! Take this! <sighs> Pretty good crowd today. Turn up the volume! Customers are always welcome! <sighs> Chill out! Rules are made to be broken. You're 
Falcon! Done with Jean's threshold. Can you put up your best fight without a doctor on the battlefield? All of you, stay focused. I'm right behind you. Nat, how did you... Guess you guys had a bad talk, huh? Luckily, Sempo's got your back. Sempo! <laughs> Base breached. Armed wildfire personnel detected. Assessing. All subjects are high risk individuals. Execute violation. Rules are made to be broken. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Hunger is all. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Calculating results. A thousand wonders to raise your spirit. Good omens. Stay alert. Stay right there while I give you a present! This song's just for you. Keep up! My tempo! Let's be friends, shall we? <laughs> yeah! Push forward. Analysis complete. <laughs> You can't run! High-risk individual. Take this! My turn! Rules are made to be broken. You got to you're welcome! Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! My tempo! Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Hunger is all! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! Customers are always welcome. Evo will be gone. Calculating result. Try that again. Done with Jean's threshold. A thousand wonders to raise your good omens. You have the worst luck running into me. Watch this! This song's just for you. Turn up the volume! This is our chance. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Let's be friends. 
friends, shall we? All the best! My turn! <sighs> Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! My tempo! Clara, you... Mr. Swara can't fight me. Claire, Ra. Mr. Swara, don't push yourself any further. Mr. Swara, you said you were willing to make all my wishes come true, right? Recently, I learned something new, even if the world outside the cage isn't beautiful. Assessment system reset. Variable one. Clara's updated assessment res- So... So we did it? Clara seems like the only one who can break through Svarog's cold logic. It's a good thing she was here. I hope his memory bank really does contain data on the Stellaron. Is this it, Nat? Us? Wildfire? The Underworld? Did... Did we win? No, Zila. Our battle, their battle. Finally, we finally made it to this point. Uh, what's up? Nervous? No, but I do have an aching feeling in my chest. I'm ready. Reveal the truth. I'm listening. and records. Do you wish to proceed, outsiders? Requesting database materials cache, serial number 13175, encryption level highest. Request approved. This is the fruit of me. The people will... It's the truth, madam. The truth won't change with the opinions of the people. The reports before you are the precious result of painstaking effort on the part of Bellabog's greatest scholars. You must trust the weight of its conclusion. I have never doubted you, Doctor. On the contrary, I am resolute in the face of this conclusion. From the moment I took up this mantle, that voice, their voice, has made its home in my mind. I cannot shake them. I shouldn't be telling you this. Let's return to your research, Doctor. I'm afraid I cannot make these reports known to the public. Unless... Unless? Unless what? Please, proceed, madam. Unless you have found a way to completely destroy the Stellaron. I understand. In the name of preservation, I will fulfill this mission. 
Cache number 13175. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 24830. I don't understand, Doctor. Why do we have to hide such valuable research results away? They're the work of a lifetime. You're, you're still young, child. There will come a day... A day when you do understand. This Supreme Guardian, she, she sees further than you or I. All her decisions are, are for the security of Malabarque. I just think it's a shame. Our research has hit an obstacle. Meanwhile, your results will be buried in the snow. <coughs> don't, don't be upset, child. You, you still have lots of time ahead of you. When you find a way to destroy... <coughs> destroy the Stellaron. Our efforts will have been worth it. Cash number 24830. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cash number 57614. This is... Why is there a robot here? During his life, this was Dr. Mearsheimer's per... Since the... Oh. Madam Guardian. Mm. Madam Guardian. Uh. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. One day. Cash number five. So... <gasps> and it would appear that now only one question remains. Branya? I'm, I'm fine. I just... I feel a little faint. Why? I'm sorry. It's no use lying to yourself, Branya. It's time for you to make a decision. Hey, can I have a word with you? I know that we'll need time to process this new information, but we have to decide on our next plan as soon as possible. Choice isn't as elusive as it may appear.
March, lead the counterattack. I believe in you. Oh, look who's here. It's the Bane of Svarog, the big hero of the underworld. And the other big heroes, Dan Hung and March 7. Were those lines rehearsed? Where's Natasha? Is she here? She has a bunch of other things to attend to. So I hope you don't mind talking to this <clears throat> old man instead. I speak on behalf of Natasha. By the way, sorry for keeping that whole thing about her being the actual leader of Wildfire a secret. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> My apologies. Natasha is always cautious, but she has no ill intent, as you must have noticed. She told me to make sure you return to the overworld safely. I gave it some thought, and I think the safest way is to ask this fella for help. I brought you down. I can take you back up. Free of charge. Satisfaction guaranteed. There's no need to knock us out this time, right? Of course not. This time, we'll go back through the furnace core. Mm, that would be... problematic and dangerous. Trust me. We should go through the furnace core. Ugh, enough chatter. Just be a good guide. Hold on. What about Branya? Why isn't she here? She already went back. As you know, she has some things to settle with the Supreme Guardian. What? She just ditched us and went back? How could you let her? Ugh, enough about Sambo. We need him for this trip, and we can still get rid of him after we reach the surface. Miss Sila, I'm still here, you know. Oh, right. Branya told me to give you this. She left us a letter. Hmm, could this be one of those open in case of emergency? Stop overthinking and just open it. Brother and sister Landau. I know the brother must ref Oh, Sir Vol! So she's Jepard's older sister. Blonde, tall, good looking. Ah, those Landau genes sure are something else. Sampo, do you know the Landau siblings? Landau! Uh, yeah, we're all friends. I've mostly dealt with the younger brother in the past, but the sister. <laughs> She's much scarier. Uh, today's supposed to be a day of celebration, so let's not talk about it right now. We can set out at any time. Just come find me when you're ready.
to go down there and take a look. I ought to go down there and take are always welcome. Chill out. Let's go. Take this. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Let's make it quick. Mm. 
My turn. Watch this. Keep up. My tempo. Not bad. Let's go. You have the worst luck running into me. Shall we? All the best! Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all! are always welcome. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! This is our chance. Stay right there while I give you a present! Is that all? Looks good. Must be gone. Let's go.
to be broken. You don't think you're welcome. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! A thousand wonders to raise your spirits! Good omens! Fight us one! Seize the moment! Reach the end of the story in your own way. friends. Songs for you. <laughs> You're annoying. Welcome, customers. Reach the end of the story in your own way. We need a strategy. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. to lose yourself you can fight it or rock with it gotta try hard sometimes watch this awesome move you're in trouble now <laughs> 
Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! <laughs> Let's go! Yeah. My turn! <laughs> <laughs> Time for the main event. <laughs> Welcome, customers! <laughs> Songs for you. Let's run. You can't run. <laughs> My turn. Pretty good crowd today. <laughs>
take some pictures? So, this friend of mine... Pretty nice. Weather's pretty nice. Oh. Come around and have a look. There's inspiration in every glance and every breeze. I wish you all a journey that is free of illness. You came at a good time. <laughs> there is something you can help me with. According to my patient records, there are... Have you heard of the Complex Illness Mutual Aid so Society? Generally speaking, mutual aid societies like these allow patients to share their experiences and support each other. It's a way of countering all the negative emotional effects of being ill. 
But there might be more to this society than that. I've got a few patients who have started refusing treatment since joining the society. It certainly makes you wonder. And the most suspicious part is that no matter how much I ask, no one's ever willing to tell me anything about it. And that's where you might be able to help. <laughs> it sounds dangerous, but what I want you to do is actually very simple. Investigate this so-called mutual aid society and find out what exactly they're up to. If I find out they're preventing me from doing my job, or if they're bringing harm to my patients, I won't just sit on the sidelines. Can I entrust you with this task? This little clinic has huge numbers of patients to deal with every day. If I didn't have you here to help me out, I wouldn't be able to focus on giving them quality care. Good luck. I'll be sure to thank you properly when you're back. I've seen you in the clinic. You run errands for Natasha, right? Your cover? What are you talking about? Let me guess. Natasha wants you to persuade me to go back for a follow-up visit, right? What's the use? I'm terminal. Life will be over before I know it. Of course not. I read it in a book. Every book I read has descriptions that match my symptoms exactly. I can diagnose myself with a dozen incurable diseases before I get halfway through. For people in my situation, a follow-up visit is just a waste of time and... What else is there to say? Natasha was seeing me free of charge. She said I could keep a tab running for as long as I liked, then pay it back when I had the opportunity. I guess I'm too proud. You think I need you to tell me? Don't try and persuade me. <sighs> Dr. Vash never charged me anything either. Natasha's brother. They both used to practice medicine back in Rivetown. I heard he was a top student from the Overworld Medical Academy. Bellabog's main hospital wanted him. I have no idea what convinced him to sit up down here. A kind heart, maybe. What do you mean? The underworld is always... You think I don't want to? I heard that he passed away. Uh, I should keep my voice. I heard that Natasha has... Uh, it's just... Uh, I'll go to the clinic for my... Avoiding a follow-up visit due to money issues. Uh, I should find another patient to talk to. <sighs> what was that? Oh, you'll have to be louder. My ears aren't what they used to be. Everything's muffled. Ah! A follow-up visit. Is that what you're asking about? Natasha's a, a, a wonderful girl. She always gives me a thorough checkup. But at this age, it's rather a lot to bear. Even if they could cure me. I'm sure I wouldn't be around for long. No, I, I, I don't want to waste anyone's time. That girl's always trying to get me to take my medicine on time. <laughs> oh, I know her heart's in the right place. My husband had the same illness as me, but he never touched the medicine. <laughs> 
He wanted to make sure I had enough. Then, one day, he said he needed to take care of some things at the mine. He never came back. He was forever saying he wanted to go before I did. <laughs> oh, selfish old fool. I miss him. Now that he's gone, who cares how long I stick around? Do you think so? <laughs> oh, kids today. <laughs> Don't give up easily. Okay, you win. It's off for another follow-up visit with Dr. Natasha, I suppose. Hmm? Did you want to say something else? <sighs> My ears are terrible. Virtual who? All right! I heard you. Do you have to shout? No. I've never heard of any mutes. Uh, Avoiding a follow-up visit due to her husband. I should find another patient to talk to. Why haven't I gone for my follow-up visit? Are you a patient too, or did Dr. Natasha send you over? Who else would care about people like me? I don't need Dr. Natasha's help now. Tell her to save her worries and medicine for other people. A dispute? No, no. She's the only kind-hearted doctor in the underworld. I just don't really approve of her methods, that's all. Too idealistic and no real efficacy. She tries to save everyone. Which means she can't save anyone. In the end, it's the patients who suffer, and she just tires herself out. Miners like me don't have time for lengthy treatments. If I can't take something and get right back to work, I may as well lie down and wait for death to come knocking. Did you, uh, know Dr. Vash? His wonder medicine is cheap, and the results are immediate. You just need to, uh, be willing to, uh, Take a little risk. Dr. Vash's medicine is... different. Lot, even knowing the risk, most people fight tooth and nail to get hold of the medicine. You know why? Hmm. <laughs> You're smarter than you. And life forces you to the edge. You'll throw yourself at any opposite people like us. A slow and torturous treatment is the same as a death sentence. Forget it. Why am I telling you all this? Ha! <laughs> what? Now you're interested in the wonder medicine? Listen up. The Complex Illness Mutual Aid Society is still selling that medicine. I can tell you where they trade, but there's a rule. You must not tell any of this to Dr. Natasha, you hear? If you break the rule, you'll face the consequences. Here, yeah, take this. It's the address. A final warning. Do not reveal this information to Natasha. I know where to find the wonder medicine. What should I do next? That patient didn't want me to tell Natasha about this.
I wish you all a journey that is free of illness. <sighs> so the Mutual Aid Society found my... found Bash's research results. And now they're selling this so-called wonder medicine to patients? Any organization doing something like this is interested in... I'm not surprised. They'll know that I'm completely against them using this. What Vash left behind is nothing more. <sighs> Thank you. If you're curious about... Some people say that Dr. Vash... People's doctor... The hard truth... Uh, of course. The medicine Vash left behind? <sighs> that stuff... I know Dr. Natasha's here, but I have to tell it like it is. He may have had the capability, but he didn't use it to help anyone. Whenever I went to see him, he never even asked about my illness. He just prescribed me his so-called wonder medicine. If it were you, would you have taken that medicine? Well, are you hurt? Let me take a look. I'm guessing you've heard a lot. I want you to go and visit once you've under... My husband. Where? Where are they? You don't know. Where? Come over. That poor, poor lady. Yes. Her husband in, in order to two be from that moment on. And yet what? Oh. I wish you all a journey that is free of illness. Did you speak to her? By the look on your face. <sighs> Be it vast. Let me. There was once a brilliant overworld doctor with... The doctor was such... His research met with obstruction time and time again. The big... As such, the doctor got in touch with his... Naturally, his sister was over... She... Brought her brother underground, and... and trusted him with her clinic. I think you know what comes next. Issuing free on some level... <laughs> I cannot accept that their fate was simply the result of misfortune or risk. No true doctor would accept that. That's why I want you to help. Thank you. This will be... You mustn't hesitate. Go. I'll be... Right there. No one's allowed up ahead. Oh, ho. playing the hero, are we? Is this a stick up? Wait a minute. You're that clinic woman's lackey. Huh? She's after our medicine and sent you here to smash the place, right? Men, look lively and send this idiot packing already. Let's make it quick. Yeah. Tough luck running into me! <laughs> Phew! <laughs> Try that again! Just a scratch. I can't run! <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Welcome, customers. Yeah! Reach the end of the story in your own way. Well, look who we have here. Your reputation precedes you, outsider. I didn't take... You listen here. I'm the president of the... Those poor... The underworld is my mutual aid. Hmm. Fine. See men. See... Let's be friends. <laughs> <laughs> to be broken. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it! A thousand wonders to raise you! This fight is fun! Yeah! This is our chance. Mm, blast it! What did we- Money? So you admit- What are you doing here? Oh, as if we didn't- Selling fake medicine with false kindness. You should have expected trouble to- I have a responsibility to protect- you... You're right. I can't save everyone alone. But if I must, I would sacrifice food and sleep to treat them. The debt that Vash owes to the Underworld rests with me. Ugh, uh, so- I'll take that as- a... Thank you. Your actions today have saved many un- I'll find a way to dispose of Vash's leftover reagents. Next time, let's go back to town. It's getting late. Where to now? It looks like the patients have surrounded Natasha. Let's hear what they're saying. What are you saying, Doctor? The wonder medicine is out of supply? Correct. That medicine is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Wildfire has cut off the supply chain. Your ailments need rational, scientific treatment. Relying on pseudo-medicines will only worsen your condition. Rational and scientific, huh? The way I see it, you're just jealous you lost your patience. Oh, how dare you speak to Dr. Natasha like- Ma'am, please, think for a moment. How can you still be siding with her? That wonder medicine was working fine for us, and now it's gone because she wants it to be? How can she- I understand your anger, but as your doctor, I ask you to trust my judgment. I will find a way to access more medical resources and help you through your struggles. If I must, I'll get help from the surface. The surface? Have some respect! If it's res- I'm out of here. Are you hurt? Let me take a look. <laughs> oh, you're here. I apologize. <sighs> I'm okay. If I were in his shoes, I may well have had the same reaction. Now I need to focus on treating the patients and dispelling their doubts. Let's leave it for now. 
I'll feel a lot better once I've gotten rid of this mess that Vash left. Now's as good a time as any to tell you Vash's whole story. If there's anything you want to know, don't hesitate to ask. No, but I used to think we were so close that we may as well have been. I, uh, actually grew up in the orphanage. It wasn't until I was adopted. My adoptive mother always saw me as her own flesh and blood. <laughs> and Vash loved me like a sister. That is, while we were still young. My adoptive parents belonged to a prominent medical family. As kids, we were exposed to all kinds of medical texts. When we were older, both of us got straight into Bellabog's medical school. We were on a path into the medical profession. He was gentle and introverted. But when it came to work, he could be absurdly obsessive. Like a completely different person. Whenever I made a mistake in an experiment, he'd bite my head off. And then a while later, he'd apologize and comfort me. He was conflicted in that way. I didn't know he had leftover reagents in Rivet Town. I was shocked when you told me. If you fail to make a clean break with the past, the past creeps up on you. <laughs> <sighs> That's a long story. Uh, he saw the human body's vulnerability to cold. To be honest, I never understood how he'd achieve that blizzard immunity. <laughs> I knew it, but I was too young. During his stay in the underworld, he be those re up behind my back. He indeed, and it all happened under my nose. How ridiculous! When his experiments were exposed, I spent a. This was shortly before the underworld was sealed off. There were hardly any Silvermane guards remaining. We. Spent ages. In the end, Oleg suggested that we banish him, and had his victims found out the truth, Vash would have been torn to pieces by furious underworlders. I... I hope so. The day I learned the truth was the day I no longer recognized my brother. Oleg and I took Vash to the overworld. He made his final request to us. To take him outside the city to the snow plains he'd always wanted to conquer. His figure gradually disappeared into the snow curtain. <laughs> I've been telling myself that Vash is dead ever since. Forgive me. <laughs> I'm not good at telling stories. Vash was a- Let's call it a day. Thank you for cleaning up the mess my brother left behind. Here, for your trouble. <laughs> <laughs>